Hi, my name is Michael Novello from visualpix.com. Welcome to 5 Minutes Photoshop. Here I present you fast and effective Photoshop effects and techniques in 5 minutes or less. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you several usages of the high pass filter. The first case is to use a, a sharpening filter. And for this I'm going to copy this layer here. Go to filter, others, high pass. And if I play with this number here between 0.1 and 0.5, I'm going to sharpening the small details. If you go more up with the number, you are sharpening the middle details. And if you go more up in the numbers, uh, then you're sharpening the big details. But for now, I want to sharpen the small details and I'm going with a number of 1.2 and press OK. Now we have to, to set the blend mode to one of these two methods, overlay or soft light. I am preferring soft light. As you can see, now it's much sharper the image here. Uh, you can see much more details in the wood. And if I Blend this out. You can see there's much more details here in this cushion here, or in the in the wood here. It's much more details. And if I use the method overlay, as you can see, it's getting brighter, but you get something like a halo out uh, around the small details here. So I prefer in this case the soft light method. Another usage of the high pass filter is to enhance contrasts. And for this I'm going to hide this layer here and I make another copy. And I'm going to high pass filter, others, high pass, and I'm going with a really high number about, now yeah, let's go with 106. If the number is too low and you have a dark background, a dark foreground and a colorful dark background, you get some halos here and these halos are visible. So go with a higher number and the halos nearly are not recognizable um, after we are changing the blend mode. And I'm going with 106 and I'm changing the blend mode to overlay. And as you can see, we have enhanced the contrast, but we have these halos here. For this, I'm going to change the blend mode again to soft light. This is a little bit better. And to adjust this, we can lower the opacity a little bit. Um, go with 60 or 68 percent here. Now we have still a contrast enhancement. And now we can use this to layers in combination to get, get the image sharper and to have more contrast in the image. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, if you like my videos, you can subscribe to my channel right here in the middle. And my last two videos you can find here and here. And if you really like my videos, you can support me on patreon.com. Here's the link. And thanks again. And see you next time. Bye.